Hello, welcome to Danganronpa Hopes, and this is a fan game uh, of Danganronpa, of course, uh, made by the user Catster, I believe. Um, I'll be leaving a link in the description below uh, for you guys to go check out, so please go and check it out and please go show your full support. Um, I was recommended this one uh, by the uh, creator themselves, so let's uh, hop right in and see what's up. Uh, I believe this is about 45 minutes or so, um, so I think it's a bit of a short one, but uh, yeah, definitely excited. Oh, and it's made in RPG Maker, of course, uh, and I have seen some of the character designs, but that's basically it, so, okay. Remember, okay. I want you to oh my god, they have CGs. Sorry, let me just up the volume on my end a little. Okay. Take control. Oh my god, there's like one very small person and then a very big person with like a mega mind head. <laughs> Anyways, okay. We'll do it. Uh, there's no need to fight. We have to do whatever we, whatever we have to do. Just think about everything that happened. We might as well. Turned over to question, is she crazy? I look down at my feet, breathing heavily as I think about everything that happened. Everything that happened? What? What did happen? Okay. Oh. Nice. <laughs> Hope speak again. Okay, I'm down. I guess it's like, fully voiced or something? I don't recognize this person's voice, but we might actually, um, because I don't know any of the voice cast. I don't know who who's voicing any of these characters, so it might be interesting seeing if there is any familiar voices in here. Okay. <laughs> is it awesome? Okay. Sure. No, you're not going to say the second part? I've been doing my research overnight. Okay. Uh, and I've noticed that some pretty awesome people are going to be my classmates. <laughs> I guess it's- uh, whoa! <laughs> I see. A homie has like, a skunk on his neck? <laughs> no, it's it's a, it's a scarf, I can tell. That's fine. Yeah, so... Apparently, this game has a cat in it. <laughs> but anyways, okay. I don't know- oh, she's kind of cute. I like her mask and uh, her pendant stuff. Cool stuff. Hamari Yui. Okay. Ballerina? <laughs> Interesting. Well, actually, yeah, I, I was in the. Oh. I think this is continuing over this side. Yeah, okay. Um, no, I saw the, uh, what is it, like, the key visual, I think. I guess that was the main character I never actually put two and two together, but I did see that uh, the creator had been uh, drawing that one, uh, and I did see that there was a dancer character, so I guess that's our protagonist. Interesting. Okay. Oh my god, I like the, uh, the, the neon, like, yellow. Um, the colors are very bright and pretty. I like it. The art's actually really nice. I'm not sure if uh, the creator makes it or if someone else draws it, but I'm sure mum and dad are happy. I see. Okay. I wonder if this whole thing's voice acted. <laughs> I'm guessing. Oh. Oh, okay. A voice appeared behind me in a fright. I turned around. I'm sorry, I am. Hamari, okay. You need a haircut or something. <laughs> Although I do like the purple. What? Took me a while to realize who this was, but it was Ichika Hina, and she's my cousin, but what's she doing here? <laughs> the little three mouth. I could say the same about you. What's your ultimate title? Gamer? <laughs> okay. Well, I'm here as the ultimate ballerina. I do like her, like, very fluffy dress. I wonder if there's, like, are the hair clips kind of meant to be, like, spaceships or something? I don't know. I forgot she isn't the brightest. Okay. <laughs> I like the sprite. Like, she's, like, not lazy, but I don't know. I know that, and then turned to Hope Speak Academy. Okay. I got up to Zichiko and I took our first steps into the academy and our first steps into our ultimate lives. At least, that's what we thought. 
Oh my god, I, the, the art is so nice. Like all the watercolor kind of thing. There's a map, okay. Do a close look at the map, inspecting it thoroughly. I wish they specified where sh we should be going. It is a bit strange that some of the main characters' voices are recorded and others aren't. I'm not sure, I mean this could just be an early build, um, so... Okay. And that's when... BONK! A sharp pain in my head followed by nothing but darkness, I was probably knocked out. Did someone just get a mallet and just go bang? <laughs> darkness, just darkness. I'd be lying if I said it wasn't lonely in the void. Okay. Oh. Oh, I've seen, I think this is the image they use for the, um, for like the server icon or something. Okay. What is that? Is that a little top hat or something on the table? What happened? <laughs> why is the girl, why is the, uh, Ichigahina or whatever, why is she like, creeping under the table? What? I turned around with my throbbing head to find Ichika sitting down next to me. Hmm, okay. That does explain... Sorry, that doesn't explain my throbbing head. Oh, I see. Will this go away? <laughs> so, Kefri, I love how considerate she is. Maybe I should look around for a bit. Not really. Sure. Okay. Ah, uh, I was so hoping she was gonna say WAST. <laughs> Okay. Press escape to view the menu. There you can save the game, exit the game, view your items, and more. Items? What? But you... No, this is not a video game. <laughs> no, you're not helping. I should probably investigate the room. While ignoring Ichiko. Did I say ingoring? I think that was a little typo. That's okay. We all make typos. Don't worry about it too much. Um, okay. Ah, oh, Mari, you're a soldier. Uh, let's see, let's chuck a save in. We've got mono coins down there, interesting. I'm guessing because it's this uh, RPG maker, this could, that's gonna be the uh, default stuff. Um, but okay. What's this? Some sort of. I can't think of what it could be, but it looks like there's screws on it. I'll try to rotate them to see what's behind them. I need to attempt to unscrew the screws, but all that happened was my hands hurting and turning around. It's very impressive that the the creative was uh, able to replicate uh, the Hope's Peak um, rooms like this. Genuinely very, very impressive stuff, like the emblem down there as well. Uh, and, I mean, the emblem might be from something, but like even just the layout, I think it's very, very impressive. Can I look at that? It's camera, are we being watched? Okay. A chalkboard that has Enjoy Your New School Life written on it in chalk. I wonder if this is an alternate universe, um, or if it's actually a continuation from the original stuff. A pin board. There isn't anything too important. There isn't anything to pin. <laughs> okay, let's see. Can we get out of here? I'm not done investigating. Oh, the clock maybe? The clock's on the wall. Oh crap, it's 9.15. and get going. 9.15? That means you're freely able to exit the room. Walk up to the door and press enter. <laughs> we stopped that already. Fair enough. Do you have anything to say to us? Go on, get investigating. Okay. Come on, let's go. We're leaving. We're we going to the entrance. I remember where it was from the map, thankfully. We were supposed to be there at 8.30, it's 9.15, let's go. Let's get the hell out of here then, okay. Uh, whoa, very pink, but again, very impressive that uh, you somehow managed to uh, replicate the Hope Speak uh, thing to pretty good, uh, you know, blah. I mean, I, I sound really con condescending if I'm saying pretty good at tea, like it's it's really good um, that you're able to replicate it like this. Um, although there is no door down this way to the- oh wait, no, hold on. I see, so the hotel's down this way, is it? Um, this looks like the entrance to the spare hotel, but I don't want to go there right now, okay. What is this? It raised a despair hotel, I wonder what that could mean. Alright, what do you got to say? I'll be with you in a minute, go on without me. You're giving me very awfully sussy vibes. <laughs> but, okay. So this should be where the red door is, right? I've no clue what this room is, but it makes me nauseous just looking at it. Was there plants? I <laughs> if you walk on plants, does it just say you monster? Oh, that's funny. Oh, I love that. <laughs> okay. That's, that was good. I like that a lot. Yeah, and even the green. Very, very impressive stuff. It's a door with what looks like a cassette player photo on, on top of it. Perhaps this is a video room. Okay. And the, uh, the, 
uh, what is it again? The shop room? Uh, or the, yeah, the school shop. It's a door with a yen symbol on it. The sign next to it reads Mono Shop. What's a mono? <laughs> I wonder if the gacha system is uh, in this one. Uh, and I wonder if these pixel sprites down here were um, also made as well. So that'll be the entrance hall. I'm guessing everything else is going to be locked off right now. Pink door with a cross on it. The sign next to it reads Infirmary. Yep. Uh, I am plates as of now. They have no importance to me. Okay. Um, wait. I can't. I can't run anymore. I don't know what's up with that, but uh, I guess we can't go into the bathrooms. All right. Well, as uh, as far as stairs blocked off, I get. I wonder why. Okay. I'm gonna go to the main entrance. Um, get things uh, rolling. <laughs> Let's go in here. This is the entrance. This is where I meet the rest of the ultimates. Huh? Why does she know that? <laughs> Has she been through this before? Is is it a is it a um, fourth wall break kind of thing, where she's actually a Danganronpa fan? <laughs> Am I truly ready? I guess I am. It's good. We're going into the entrance now. All right, I'm on my way. Let us go in. We have a, a, a very colorful cast, as we can tell. When I got into the entrance, I saw a bunch of people. Okay. <laughs> you got like the DNA, like, what are they called? Like the DNA spirals in your hair? <laughs> Two new people. Okay. That makes 16 of us, right? Tur guys, what are you doing? <laughs> Hi, tur guys. Um... With kind of like the silver and the red hair. Okay. I like how the characters swipe into each other. That's actually really nice. Um, I suppose I should be guessing these uh, talents as well when we uh, before we talk to them. I guess. Okay. These That's are. Correct. Is that ultimates, just like you? I think. Is that rocks? That sounds like rocks. <laughs> Is that my boy rocks? If they weren't, okay. why else would they be here, dumbass? The cat. <laughs> Standing in front of me were the rest of the ultimate students. Uh, they all look so majestic in the ultimate clothing. Is that a cat? <laughs> well, hello everyone. Uh, I, um, I'm sorry, I'm late. Forever for you. Yeah, we've been waiting for- oh, I, everybody uh, said that. I have a question for you. That is- that's Rose, isn't it? I ha sorry, it took me a second. <laughs> me, um, I'll ask right away. This is so funny because Rose voices Kasumi Amemiya <laughs> in my uh, Danganronpa project, and it's basically just, so far, it's just the same voice inflections, like, because both of these characters, I can tell, are very much nervous characters, so it's so, just super interesting. What are you? Just you? Ultimate rocker or something? That's so weird. It's like it's poisonous in there. Oh, it's like a, like a scout or something. I think you're thinking of face of Eagle syncope. I... I you know, without the voice clip, I couldn't have read that, so thank you. More importantly, explain why you were late. Is that a ninja? <laughs> well, I... Mari here is just a heavy sleeper. <laughs> Can you blame me? Uh, okay, well, she was knocked out. She didn't have a choice. Thank you, um, whatever your name is. Right. That reminds me, we should introduce ourselves, shouldn't we? Are you positive? Detective. I agree. Even if we don't, we should definitely know who we are before something else happens, you know, in case of a shooter. A what? <laughs> Wait. <laughs> okay. Well, what are we supposed to do? Uh, what are we supposed to talk about after our introductions then? We'll figure it out when the time comes, I suppose. I never understood what anyone said, uh, but the thread I read online didn't really provide information on what they like. So maybe introductions are good. Okay. I'll start with. The Whoa! People just started moving. I'll start with these five. What? Are, what? I'm not done talking. <laughs> I get pushed back by an invisible wall. <laughs> Everyone just wandering about. Okay. Uh, I guess we'll go from right to left. Shin Tachibana. Oh, sorry, I should have guessed the, um... I should have guessed the talent beforehand. Although I was thinking she was going to be like an astrologist or something because of her star-based uh, clothes there. Shin Tachibana. Tachibana's a super cool last name. I dig it. How hyper, I guess. That's how she dances a lot. How much coffee does she drink? I heard she made uh, curry... So choreographs for famous idols like Saika Meisner and her own pop group. She must be really fun to work with. Huh. Saika Meisner. So is that alternate universe Saika Meisner or is that real Saika Meisner? I don't know. One way to find out. What I'm trying to say is like, is this take place, you know, in an alternate reality with all the characters that existed in the, the original or is it like something that's happening at the same time? Or I mean, like I said, only one way to find out. Okay. Hello. <laughs> Uh, hello. <laughs> hello. <laughs> okay. I'm sorry, I don't really know what to tell you. She doesn't uh, get out much, does she? Well, that's it. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Let's go. Oh, I did not mean to do that, but that's okay. 
<laughs> Sorry, guys. Nice cool. It's got a little star on his little um, singlet there. Okay. Tank. <laughs> no last name. Uh, looking like Yonezu Kenshi from that one music video. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, he's so much bigger up close, it's sad that he never skips gym day, arm day, or like, wait, uh, or leg day, okay, so I guess his legs are super muscly as well, however, I've never seen much better people, but I suppose it's impressive for him since he's a high school student, or at least I think he is, tank, but I thought you were Japanese, where'd you get that idea, it's said in your wiki page, <laughs> they have a wiki about me, they have a wiki of everyone who applied to Hope Speak, what about Steve Harvey, Steve Harvey didn't go to Hope Speak, it's maybe a bit mean, but I never knew he was so dull. Okay. Interesting. So if I'm getting victim vibes from you and victim vibes from you, so let's take a look. I, I feel like you're gonna kill someone relatively soon as well. Go on, talk to everyone. Oh, okay. So I guess uh, we'll leave you until last. I guess we'll we'll, we'll, we'll save the cut for the end. Okay. Okay, so I guess it's a rocker or drama. Okay. Cool. <laughs> I guess he's very, like, quiet, even though he's super, you know, hyper in his looks. Interesting little juxtaposition. I can get behind that. And then, okay. Aruku Nikita, he plays with the rock band Zombie Hooks. He's an excellent drummer for it, and I love that one song he played. I wonder if that band is based on something. Like, if it's a reference or something. Hi, I'm Hamari Yui. Yes, I got that. You said that when you first walked in here. Oh, I'm sorry. So how's your band going? Am I, like, quit? What? When I got accepted into Hope Speak Academy, I quit. I would rather be a teacher. A teacher? Out of all things, a teacher? I mean, he could be a music teacher, you never know. Is there something wrong with that? No, not at all. I just wasn't expecting you of all people to want to be a teacher. It's kind of common. I should probably stop talking before my life gets more ruined. <laughs> what does that mean? Like, I guess, like, um, rubbing him the wrong way kind of thing. Okay. What is with your hair? Okay. Oh, you're the painter. Yeah, no, to be fair... I was gonna say, like, scientist or something because of the DNA strands in her hair, but... <laughs> okay. Kokoro Miu. Okay. Oh, she's got, like, a odd eye thing going on as well. One eye's blue, one eye's pink. You're so formal. What? Did I say that out loud? Yes. Okay. I'm sorry, I just... It's fine, I appreciate the compliment. I don't know if I recognize the voice actor or not. I'm not entirely too sure, because, uh... They're not a very, uh, outspoken character, you could say. Oh, um... Uh, what did you say your name was again? It was Hamari Yui. I'm the ultimate ballerina. It's nice to meet you. I didn't know Kokoro was so forgetful, but it's said that she can paint a replica of the Mona Lisa in five minutes. I'm pretty sure she's lying, but there's footage of it online, so it has to be true, right? Surely there's people that can do that, right? Like, I'm, you know, like, if there's a reference, I'm sure, I don't know. Uh, then again, five minutes is a very, very short time. Alright, let's talk to the cat. My name is Tori Yuri, okay. and I'm the ultimate test subject. Yeah. Oh, by the way. You got any treats in ya? Is that? I don't want to get this wrong, but <sighs> actually, I don't know. I don't want to get this wrong. I, w I don't want to be like confident and be like, is that so and so? And then it's like completely wrong. But I feel like that's. Is that Ray? <laughs> I don't know. Here's the thing. I've only ever heard Ray voice act as the English dub voice of Mei Feng Li, which is another character of Mel's Nexus. Very, very stern, cold voice. Because this character is ridiculously different in terms of tone, I genuinely can't tell if this is the same voice actor or not. <laughs> but I feel like the inflections are very similar. I'm not sure though. Uh, I might be wrong. If I'm wrong, I apologize. Tori Yuri. Oh, well, there's a little silhouette in the background. I wonder what that's about. Kind of ominous. So, stared at Tori with a rather surprised look. You can speak? Yes. Well, that was just a rumor. There's no way that's possible. I mean, hey, there's a whole bunch of talking animals in fiction, so to be fair, it's not that wild, is it? <laughs> Well, wild in another sense, perhaps. I'm sorry, I'm just a little bit surprised. Let's go! Let's go! <laughs> That's okay, I get that a lot. If everything else I've read was correct, then it said that she was the first ever successful test subject to have human organs transplanted into her. Ew. <laughs> Which includes a human brain and human vocal cord. You could have just been like, you know, this, this was a test subject that got strapped a little microphone onto its neck that could translate cat speech into human, and you know what? The character would have been 100% the same, so... <laughs> but you had to go the, the gross route. It's fine, it's fine. I'm kidding. And no, I don't have treats. Lame. Yeah, lame. It's not every day I meet a cat, or a talking cat for that matter. To be fair, I've seen a lot of strays here in Japan, and there has been a part of me that is just like, 
Maybe I should just carry around a bag of cat biscuits in my bag, just in case I meet them. And I still haven't done that, but it's still on the tip of my mind. Maybe I should start doing that. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm joking. Relax, I'm joking. Oh. Okay. I'll talk to these five next. And then it's- I'm not talk done talking. <laughs> I love how she just bounces back, it's so funny. Can I go around this way? And it's like- oh yeah, okay. Just- just double checking. Hi. Okay, you're gonna say the same thing. Alright, we'll go left from right Hello. this time. My name is adventure or something? Oh, scout. scout. Okay. Good to meet you. Hi, Nakajima. Oh, I like her voice. She's very, like, um, boyish, kind of? I don't know. The ultimate scout. Okay. Nakajima. Inside the island. <laughs> okay. Um, yo, actually, yeah, no, I means love, so love inside the island. <laughs> okay. She's won countless badges, but keeps the most important ones on her badge thing. Oh, I guess a little belt there. I read she was a camp counselor for a few years. A By the way, weren't we supposed to meet at the gym? Yes, I suppose that is pretty weird. Yeah. It's a good thing I'm not forgetful or easy to forget. Okay, you're just gonna jump into the introduction? Oh, I'm sorry, Miss Aki, I didn't see you there. Hmm, I don't think you're helping. You. I'm forgetful, okay? The two be fair, didn't the canon games also do that? Um, with Kibo and, uh, Oma. When they had a little uh, banter going on in their introduction, I believe. I don't know too much. Again, I'm sorry. I, I genuinely, I've said this multiple times in Danganronpa videos in the past. Um, I'm very not knowledgeable in V3. So <laughs> if I get anything wrong when I mention V3, I do apologize. Okay. Right. Hmm. Anyway, what's your name? Oh, so I guess we're doing a two-in-one here. Yeah? You're just going to forget it anyway. It doesn't matter. But if you truly insist... Truly oh, insist. sorry. My name is Misaki Nakajima. I'm the ultimate nurse. Nice to meet you. Wait, are they? Oh, wait, were they cousins or something? Is that what they said before? Sorry, I think I missed that. Because they have the, the same last name, don't they? Nakajima, ultimate nurse. Twin sister of I, Nakajima. Oh, twin sister, okay. She's healed 10,000 patients in less than six months. Is that even possible? She's insanely talented. That's an understatement. But I still don't understand how she became a nurse at such a young age. Maybe it's pr uh, pretty privileged. She is kind of pretty. What is that? That was such an off-handed comment. Oh, she's kind of pretty. Yeah, she's like a six. Like, <laughs> I'm sorry, I am. Um, there's no need to apologize. I'll keep it in my memory from now on since we're friends now. But friend, I've never had a friend before. I can be your first. I'm Hamari Yui. Really? Hamari, th thank you. She seems really sweet. I'd want her to nurse me. Wait. <laughs> Oi! <laughs> now's the time for emotional moments. We need to get going so we can figure out what's going on. What's going on with your shoulders is a better question. <laughs> Fucking, like, Lego-looking ass, like, <laughs> I'm sorry, we can continue this later. By the way, that wasn't me jabbing at the art, um, I, yeah, I'm just joking around. Okay, bye. Goodbye. See you later. Bye, Hamari. I like her, how she has an ombre frayed from, uh, you know, she has green and then she has red at the bottom of her hair tips. I dig it. Who are you? Okay, you an idol or something? Utaite, okay, interesting. That makes sense, I suppose. Uh, Utaite is virtual. I never, like, I know some, like, the first ending song of the Danganronpa the animation was sung by an Utaite, uh, Sararu, I believe, um, who sung, uh, what's it called again? Uh, Zetsubo or something. I forget what it's called now. It's a banger of a song. You know what I'm talking about. Uh, that was an Utaite, but, uh, I'm not super knowledgeable in the genre, so I don't know if they're, like, virtual avatars, or if they're just just people that sing anime style stuff. I'm not entirely sure, but okay. Tatsuya Fukuda. I couldn't really find out much about him since nobody knew what an Utaite is, so they gave up on him and moved on to someone else. Now you gotta find out what it is now. <laughs> nice to meet you. What's an Utaite? I sing. So why not just call yourself a singer? Well, it's specific. How specific? I sing vocal songs. Ah, uh, songs. Oh, yeah, 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 okay. I feel like I have heard that before. Yeah, a lot of the time, like, Soraru also covered a bunch of Vocaloid stuff, I think, back in the day. Again, I'm not super knowledgeable, but I do know that he was one of the um, big hitters in, like, the early 2010s that I, that, you know, I knew about growing up. So, yeah. That, that's literally the only name I know, though, so. Okay. And now he does, like, legitimate, like, I don't want to call it, like, legit music, because it sounds like I'm understating uh, Utaite music, but he does, like, legit songs that, like I said, are used in anime and... Um, you know, just sold his CDs and stuff, so it's pretty crazy stuff. Uh, but I believe he started on online as well, so, yeah. Okay. You mean those singing robot things? Yeah, I'd seen him make songs. Mako, C-U-L, Mako, he made me code. I, I only knew the first one. <laughs> you name it, I sing. 
I've only heard of Hatsune. Yeah, exactly. I didn't know there were more than her. Well, no, I know, uh, I know, I know Kaito. <laughs> so there you go. That's that's something else, right? I know Kaito. He, yeah, he's uh, the blue haired one, right? Lame. Well, I'm sorry. I couldn't hear you. Nothing. Okay then. I'm pretty sure he called me lame. I guess I should learn more about Vocaloid. Okay. Um, we'll get to Lego Man in the end. Oh, you're a footballer. Yeah, knew it. <laughs> Waka Izumi? <laughs> um, like, young spring, I guess? <laughs> Noboru means to climb. I guess he's gonna climb to the top of the ladder. <laughs> in terms of, uh, you know, being the star striker or whatever. Here, we, here he is. Hey, it looks awfully sad in that. I don't know why. Is he holding some, uh, secrets, perhaps? It's Nomura Wak Waka Izumi. He won a bunch of games without having a single point scored on his team. He never loses, even with his baby face. Kinda cute. I kind of, you know what? I think he might be my favorite so far. I don't have a baby face. I actually know what I was saying. <laughs> Meisner. Just kidding, I get called face, baby face a lot. It's just intuition. See, okay. So I'm making all the Nexus right now, as you guys may or may not know. Um, I like reflecting and Easter egging back to the original canon stuff. And I dig what um, what this creator has uh, is doing with this as well. Uh, you know, hinting at the whole Saga Mose and everything. Um, it's nice, you know, having little callbacks and stuff. So I dig it. Yeah, you should just get called Babyface that much. <laughs> yeah, my family calls me that. Plus, I usually get bullied for it, huh? And to be fair, I guess uh, Kuzu Ryu in uh, Danganronpa 2 also had the whole Babyface thing. So that might be a reference there as well. Uh, that's good. They stopped after they found out you got accepted into Herb Speak, right? No, they d oh, Okay. <laughs> I guess that's why he looks sad in his profile. Oh, yeah. I'm just gonna go. Take care. You too. I don't know whether to feel guilty or scared. <laughs> still, still definitely my uh, most intriguing. I wonder if there's gonna be uh, free time events in this game or not. Uh, you know, some fan games do. Some fan games uh, understandably don't, because it is a lot of uh, work to code it in and stuff. Um, but if there is, uh, I'd be uh, very curious to learn more about him. Moving on, Lego Man. All right, what's up? Hello? Oh, we're still doing these things? Yes. Fine. If you're dying to know, okay. my name is Naoto Narito, and I'm the ultimate cellist. Cellist? Now, what is a cellist? Like, cell phones? <laughs> or, like, prison cells? Is it someone that makes prison cells? I don't know. I have no idea. That's okay. Well, there you go. I don't think I recognize the voice actor either, but... Uh, the footballer before, that was that was definitely Rox. Um, again, I'm not used to hearing Rox sound so gentle and nice. Not a, not a stab at Rox by any means, but I'm just saying. Uh, he plays Kenji Okagi in Alter Nexus, which is a very fierce character. His fame really got into him, huh? Apparently he's insanely good at cello. Oh! Oh, like a cellist. I see. Okay. Like a cello player. Okay, that makes sense. Um, performs in orchestras and concerts. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Do you mind? I'm trying to concentrate on what? Jesus. It isn't any of business, sure. Pushy. I guess he's a very angry, angry little man. Angry little Lego man. <laughs> Last four. Okay. We'll I'll talk to you. I love how over the top the voice acting is. <laughs> oh, it's amazing. And his shark teeth as well. Did I? I think I just saw something, um, near his belt. <laughs> Moving on. Uh, if you saw it, you saw it. That's all I'm gonna say. I have so many questions. <laughs> okay. Oh, I am. Um, can feel my face getting red. Where's your, um, shirt? Who needs a shirt when you have hot chicks around? <sighs> Majority of these hot chicks look and act like children. Besides them, they need to grow up. I still can't believe they're almost adults. You got something to say? <laughs> all the way from over there? No, not at all, ma'am. All that money from debuting, uh, debuting, debut. I can't say that word. <laughs> As an idol, and he still can't buy himself a shirt. Do you even own a shirt? Cause I do. I feel restricted when I wear shirts. It really limits me. It's fabric. Oh, Whenever uh, it's not like a girl would understand. Isn't? Is wouldn't girls understand more? Cause they're always restricted with you know, bras and stuff. <laughs> not that I want to go there, but I'm just saying. Excuse me. You heard me. I'm finished. Are you? I think I am too. You're gonna say the same thing, aren't you? Okay. Alright, what's up, Hello. Watson? I'm Hinata Matsumoto. Oh, I love the British. The ultimate detective. It's so over the top. Any mystery, I can solve it easily. Nice to meet you. I need to hear like an in it British voice. 
in one of these fan games because it's always the pompous posh like southerner accent um but i need to hear like hey what up boss man you know <laughs> i need that sort of um rough british accent in a fan game please if you're watching this and you're making a fan game please put in a uh, rough uh, in it uh you know laddie voiced uh, british character <laughs> maybe i'll do it <laughs> One day, if I make another one of these, I don't know. Alright, uh, I can stop it. Okay. There's always like a detective character, isn't there? Um, no, I think the uh, little profile there was a little um, not sized matching, but that's okay. Again, this is just the beta, um, and there's bound to be mistakes. I make tons of mistakes as well, so please don't feel bad about it. Hinata Matsumoto solved many unsolvable cases at such a young age. He was titled as a young hero for quite some time. I want to be like him one day. He's famous as him, I mean. What was your name again? He can solve complicated mysteries, but can't remember a name. It's Hamari Yui. I right. got it, I'll write that down, thank you. Hinata Matsumoto, okay. Am I a suspect? Yeah. Indeed you are, you are found at the scene of the crime, stealing cookies from the cookie jar. You know, Hinata means, um, like, shadow or shade, uh, which is the reason why Hinata from Naruto is very, um, you know, introverted and, and very, uh, like hidden away from people it's because her name literally means like shadow <laughs> so uh, yeah interesting little tidbit uh you're found at the scene of the crime stealing cookies from the cookie jar uh, please don't arrest me how sarcastic i'm sorry i'm just really tired i get that we have to wake up pretty early weren't we plus our heads hurt from passing out you landed on your head too hmm even i can't solve this case i'm sure there'll be a case for you to solve i do love the cross hatching texture you got going on with the clothes in fact you know what the clothing shadows and the folds look ridiculously good, so bravo, whoever drew that, whether that's a creator or, or an artist, um, the clothing folds are ridiculous, well, ridiculously well done, sorry. Let's hope so. Now I sh and I share a love together. I do like how short these introductions are, some of them can uh, well on for a little bit too long, so. Alright, Jun Nakamura, no, oh. Babysitter. I'm a babysitter. So oh, nice okay. I think I recognize this, this person's voice as well. Not from anything. I've never interacted with this uh, voice actor, but I played a fan game. I think it might be one of my first uploads on my channel. Uh, called what was it again? It got. I think it's one that got cancelled, but it's still up there. It's called uh, uh, Beyond Beyond Project or something. Um. But this, this voice actor played one of the characters. I think it was like yeah, the little, uh, the meme boy. <laughs> uh, not mean boy, meme boy. Um, he was a, a meme lord and he had like googly glasses and stuff. Uh, but I do, I definitely do recognize. Uh, I know that this voice, uh, voice actor has been in a bunch of stuff in the community. Um, but I, I haven't had any, um, any, what do you call it? Like opportunities to talk with them um, or anything, so. Um, I can't, I can't remember their name off the top of my head is what I'm trying to say. I do apologize. But June Nakamura, okay. I wonder if she's like mixed, mixed race or something with a name like that. Uh, she changes all misbehaved children into little angels and she doesn't even ask for payment. What a steal. <laughs> Sorry, I get pretty impressed when introducing myself. I'm not really used to it. Anyway, let's hope we get along, yeah? Yeah. Uh, is it just me or do you look familiar? Hmm, how do you see with your eyes closed? <laughs> Oh, I see. That was what's happening. It's kind of like the Brock effect, isn't it? Um, intu intuition. Okay. It's that good? Um, do, do, do you think characters with tiny fox eyes in anime, do you think they're actually closed? Because I feel like they're open. It's just like, you know, they can still see through them in a sense. But okay. I'm just quitting. I just had eye surgery. I just couldn't watch. No oh, okay. Not damage my eyes. Where did you get eye surgery? One of my children was babysitting. I accidentally stabbed my eye with a plastic fork. Okay, lucky they they were able to save my eye. My other eye is just a prosthetic. I'm not able to close just one eye. That oh, sounds painful. That's what I thought, but it didn't hurt as much as I thought. I feel like this is a made up a ruse, a made up cover story for something more sinister. That's just my gut feeling, um, but it might come into play at some point. You're really brave. Yes. Thank you. You should get going and talk to everyone else now, so we can figure everything else uh, everything out. I nodded. Yeah, because a lot of the time with these prologues, you try and plant a lot of, like, hints and foreshadowing into the prologue. Um, I can tell you one thing. Uh, I have definitely have a few foreshadowings in my Alter Nexus prologue. I'm not going to tell you what they are, but uh, you are you are free to theorize to your heart's content. Um, but anywho, let's talk to Ninja. Oh, sorry, wrong button. I didn't mean to do that. 
Okay. My name is Romy Miyamoto. Oh, I love that. I oh, assassin, I see. It is nice to meet you need sleep, my friend, but I, I dig your design. You're definitely like up there, along with the football player, as my favorites. By the way, I'm not gonna say the S word. Um, no, I'm gonna say shit, but I'm not gonna say the other S word. Um, the other variant of, of the word football. Uh, but anywho, it's Romy Miyamoto as the ultimate assassin. I guess Miyamoto is in like, uh, what is it again? Uh, Musashi Miyamoto, right? It was like the, uh, the ultimate uh, samurai back in the day. Alright, I should probably stay as far away from him as possible. Let's just hope he doesn't get commissioned to kill me. Hmm. Well, is there something wrong? You have been staring at me for quite some time now. What? No, I just, you just... Scary? scary? Well, I... It's okay, I won't kill you, as I am still in training. Training? So you're a professional. I'm a teenager, my family has a rule where mine is just stay in training until adulthood. When are you expected to start training? At the age of five? Such a young age. Jeez, why so young? Family policy. Oh, by the way, I'm Hamari Yui. Had you the first time. Oh, I'm sorry. I... Now, if you please, I'm busy right now. Yeah, definitely should stay clear of his way. I like him a lot. Okay, now that we got uh, done and over with... Uh, sorry, I couldn't read that for some reason. Let's talk about the real problem. What's the problem? Well, then. All of us seem to have passed out after getting into the main hall. Really? Seriously? So it wasn't just me? No. Yeah, it seems like it was all of us. Now that we're on this topic, I think there was someone who I never heard mentioned passing out. So oh, sussy. Okay. I heard else the same thing, Ichigo. Did you pass out at all? Well, well, yeah, I passed out yeah, when I saw your body. I oh, saw your body. sorry, that was worth well acted. <laughs> hmm. Did you do it together? Mm -hmm. hmm. I outside talking to herself. Okay. Way to call me out. Oh. It's nice to know, but it still doesn't explain why we all passed out. Let's go. Yeah, we were all just so excited. I know I was. No, I wasn't. There was actually something I noticed when we all woke up in the classroom. The windows in every window was boarded up with metal type plates and screws. Those were windows? What a weird scrutiny- not scrutiny, sorry, security system. Yeah. yeah, I think I'm just gonna call my stepbrother and go home. I watch this knob search for his phone. Oh, that's weird, my phone's missing. Jesus. It's joking, right? I have important photos in there that I can't get back. What kind of photos? Moving on. At least, they didn't take away my microphone. Yes, yes that is fortunate, they still have my weapons. That is very true, yeah. Nobody cares about your stupid mic or weapons, we have more important matters. I mean, the fact that there's someone here with a uh, vital, not vital, a, uh, what do you call it, a harmful weapon on them. I'm just saying. <laughs> That's not good news. That's all I hear out of you. Everybody, there's no time for fighting, let's all work together to figure out the, the big problems. What does that say on the uh, homie's headband there? Uh, like, maybe like midnight or something? No and, like the fact that the exit is blocked off by that big metal thing. We all turn to the exit, I never actually paid attention to that. It seems that there is also cameras with guns attached to them. Oh, wait, yeah, I think it's like a screenshot of the Danganronpa 1 game, but it's blended in really well. I didn't even notice until, you know, I took a really close look at it. That's really impressive. Um, but anyways, okay. That's Strange, it wasn't like that when I arrived. Uh, is, does a cat have, like, scars down its body? Or is that just lines? I don't know. What is going on? <laughs> I guess this is the perfect time for Hinata right now. Maybe this is a crime. A crime? No, this is Hope's Peak Academy. Is it? Oh. Well, yeah, it's not like we'd be anywhere else. So crazy, so, uh, so over the top. Is that normal? No. It can't be, that's illegal. Cheer up, guys, this is good. Uh, probably the Academy's sick way of doing the entrance ce ceremony. Oh, sorry, that's sort of sick. I thought you meant, like, disgusting. <laughs> sorry, it is 9.25 right now. Well, this school is more creative than I thought. You know what? I'm sure we would be just fine. Now let's stick around and wait for the signal. That's so stupid. Why not, will ya? Oh, sorry, I just overlapped. This is nice. Everyone is getting along perfectly. Hmm. What's wrong, Ichika? Well, I... Ding dong, bing bong. It has begun. <laughs> oh, I have actually seen this. This is the test of this school's broadcasting system. Am I on? Okay, awesome. I can't tell who this voice actor is because clearly they're changing their voice, but... Yeah, no clue. The voice sounded really goofy. Is this one of the students or maybe one of the teachers? Okay, to so all students, please make your way to the gym as I want to begin the entrance ceremony. Right now. <laughs> okay, that's all bye-bye now. <laughs> what, what was that? Yeah, we've been mm, finally. 
Hey, get back here. I told you. Told you all this was a joke. Come on, guys, let's go. Okay. Looks like we have no choice. See you there. Let's go. I they got treats. Everyone left for the gym, but I just stood there. That seriously didn't feel right at all. That voice sounded so familiar yet so strange. Come on, everyone. There's nothing to be afraid of. If you need, I can hold your hands. Hold my. <laughs> okay. That's injured and it held hands and left. I'm a bit skeptical. Perhaps we should get going. Yes, perhaps you're right. Again, like like I said, very, very impressive at drawing clothes folds because I always have a trouble uh, doing that. So, very impressive stuff. And let us go. Romi Hinata and Noboru leave. Hamri, would you like to come to the gym with me? Oh, sure. Tak and I left for the gym. Oh, right, yeah, her first name is Hamri, isn't it? Which is a little strange, but okay. That's, I mean, look, it's it's anime, or it's it's fiction, so any name is possible in Japanese, basically. Um, you can convince me that anything is. <laughs> okay, let's go to the gym. Uh, again, pretty standard setup stuff for Danganronpa, but uh, I guess the characters is where it, where this one shines. Just like a teen mom. I'm nothing but a babysitter. Okay, I don't plan on becoming a mother. <laughs> but if you were a mother, you'd definitely be a good one. Can I call you my mom? Just how old are you? <laughs> okay. It looks like that car has a lightning symbol. Look at that. I guess not. And I can't talk to any of them. Okay. The cat. These antiques look amazing. I could... Yeah, I love how the cat kind of blends in. <laughs> so funny. Alright, let's go. Still cover with fear. I open the door and enter the gym. I told you. I told you all this was a joke. I just realized something. I wonder how the cat's going to be in the trials. Is it going to have like a little stool? Like... <laughs> it's going to be so funny. Okay. I, I can I just say I really do like this character's voice. It's very tomboyish. I don't know. Yes. It really does look like an entrance ceremony. Romeo's right. This is definitely an entrance ceremony. If I've ever sorry ever seen one, technically. Oh yeah, look at that thing. What, what is that? Is, is that a drone? That's right. Okay, it's nice to meet you. I'm Mono Drone, the school's headmaster. It's just some legs and arms on a TV with a propeller. I guess. This voice sounds worse and <laughs> Okay. No way! It speaks. Oi! No, that was right in my ear. Please calm down. It's probably just a speaker with some pre-recorded lines. Yeah, to be fair, it does look like a gadget. No, no, no! This is a real time. And to be fair, it is a drone, right? So, isn't it mechanical? I don't know. No oh my god, it moves. I, I probably just remote, remote controlled child's toy. <laughs> oh my heart, how you've cut me deep, just like the iceberg did to the Titanic. I'm not going to mention it. Moving on. This thing is really corny. Okay, okay never mind that. We've got some business to do. Everyone's down tall and bow. Good morning. Good morning, sir. Don't hammer it. Okay. Now then, let's all commence to a very important and memorable entrance ceremony. All 16 of you are without a doubt Hopspeak Academy's latest batch of students. Each and every one of you are unique to each other. You all represent the hope of the world, and in order to protect this batch of hope, you all live an inside life solely in the confines of this school. What? Well. So then, when is the end? To put it simply, there isn't one. You're all here until the day you die. The day we die? Yep, yep, but don't worry, we have the budget for the food to last for an eternity. It's really interesting, isn't it? Because, um, you know, a couple of these uh, Danganronpa fan games have gone down the route that the Spike Tunes of stuff have, have done, where it's basically just a copy and paste of the storyline, but I, I, I don't know why, but I still get ridiculously excited whenever I get into one of these things. Even though I know beat for beat what's going to happen in the prologue, it's like, I guess because it's just a new batch of characters, it's like, who's going to survive? You know, who's my favorite? Um, so, you know, even though this is very much just a uh, one for one with the, uh, what is it, Spike Tune Soft Danganronpa 1, uh, I hope to speak Academy setup, I am very much digging it. Uh, for what it is, and I do enjoy, you know, like I said, the art assets are very, very, very cool stuff. And I can't wait to see what's going to happen going forward, um, because that's when it's going to start getting uh, distinct, I guess. Um, because, you know, all the cases are going to be different to the ones we see in the canon stuff, of course. Okay. Hey. That's the least of our worries right now. I have people at home whom I love, please don't give me away from them. You'll live, and for your information, you're completely cut off from the outside world, which is why I took all of your belongings. You don't have to worry about that dirty land ever again. Wait, so the metal plate's all over the school, and it keeps us from escaping. Wee wee cc. Wee -wee -wee -wee. <laughs> so no matter what you do, kick, scream, cry, cream, or cr cream, <laughs> there'll be nothing the outside world can hear. Stop joking around with us like this. I hope I'm dreaming right now. Wait, you guys are really dumb. This isn't a joke or a lie. This is still real. 
I understand that you guys have grown up in a world where you should have never trusted your neighbor. You guys should have all the time you need to figure out whether I'm lying or not. Literally. Yes. Yeah, this is quite the problem. Really? I thought you guys wanted this. Why else would you apply? But you know, there, are, there actually is a way to leave the school. Really? Huh. Apply. I feel like there's something, uh, you know, going on in the background. I feel like it might be a thing of um, these characters, maybe they did want to isolate themselves uh, from the real world. Um, there is, you know, like, Alice in Borderlands a good one, which is the death game that's that starts off with the characters being like, they're sick of their current life. I wish I could go into, you know, a whimsical fantasy world, and then they end up in one, and then they're like, oh shit, I want to go home. Um, you know, so there, there is stuff like that. I, I do wonder if it's going to be, you know, kind of similar to that. Uh, seriously, come on, tell us. Okay. okay. I've prepared a special cause exactly for this moment. Now then, allow me to tell you a little row in order to maintain harmony here. We like to rely on a communal lifestyle. If someone were to dis disturb that harmony, they alone will be able to leave the school. That, my friends, is what I like to call the graduation clause. I love... Well, actually, I don't know if I love it. I might hate it, but the teeth on this thing. <laughs> Vicious, that's all I can say. The what did he what what? What do you mean, disturb the harmony? Oh, you know, just something along the lines of... Murder? Murder? Hip hip stabbing, stabbing strongly, shooting, drowning, skinning, hacking, torturing, dismembering, you name it, you can do it. That's the only way to leave this school, the rest is completely up to you. Murder to your heart's desire. I shook, chills run, running down my spine. Those words stuck with me like two pieces of duct tape being stuck together by the stick. Sigh, okay. <laughs> sure, I'll take it. How's that for a joke? I bet I got your hearts racing right now, eh? Oh, the despair you're all having right now. It makes me all mushy inside. So, so what the hell's going on? Murder is... Murder is murder. There's a dictionary in the library if you need one. That is no problem. Yeah, the problem is that guy with the weapons, he'll probably get, uh, he's probably getting a big one just thinking about us killing us. Oh, a big one isn't, uh, <laughs> I thought they meant, like, getting a big weapon, but, like, well, it's a big weapon in, uh, you know, a certain, so anyways, I'm um, just thinking about it, killing us all. Mr. Drone said, please let us go. Let you go. Let you go? <laughs> You're funny. <laughs> the voice I'm crack. <laughs> oh, it's so funny. <laughs> okay, also you can kill as much as you want, go and create a killing spree. Okay, you can stop the joke now, this is seriously messed up. What? You got us now, now what about we get on with the real entrance ceremony? Are you gonna die here? Dumbass. Alright, out of my way. Running up asleep, Shin pushed Tatsuya over and stood in front of a monitor like a bear challenging the stuffed equivalent of itself. You don't think I'm actually gonna go along with this, do you? Hmm? This sick, this sick thing- you oh. a joke has gone too far now! Let me out. Okay. No. By any chance, do you mean that outfit of yours? She's gonna die. You little. With a roar, Shin launched at monitor and making the floorboard shake a little. All right, you little shit. Oh. Just what's with ya? <laughs> I didn't realize it was that small. Shit on ya. You hear? What kind of insult was that? I, I forget who Kunikita was. The voice acting is so funny with this character. That all right, Shinji, well, she was told she threw a monitor in as hard as she could, and as soon as she did, is it gonna be, I guess it's a Mondo water situation? Um, you know, part of me was kind of hoping that Shin Tajibana would have died here, because I do feel like that would have made things a lot more different, or, I don't know, just unpredictable, I guess, is, is, is a good word I use. Anyways, okay. There was an insanely painful ring in my ears, followed by the smell of gunpowder. I had no idea explosions were this painful, but at least there was a nice wave of heat for a few seconds. Whoa. So what happened to the drone? Wee -wee right here. There's two- <laughs> Wee Wee CC. There's two of them. Oh you tried to kill me. <gasps> to be fair, you did threaten to, um, shut it. <sighs> Do it again, but I won't. I'll let you off with a warning, since I totally forgot to give you all your monopads. Monopad, what's that? Sure. Don't take anything from that thing. And it's not an iPad. When a drone pulled out what was called a monopad, it certainly looked like an iPad. <laughs> These are your handy dandy monopads. Where's my Apple Pencil? I gotta start drawing. <laughs> this will help you throughout your school life. I'll, uh, it'll tell you rules and regulations of the school. You hear me say this a lot, but violation of the rules is not allowed and will result in punishment. Lastly, you'll be all protected throughout your life. 
Well then, I'm sure that concludes our entrance ceremony. I hope you all enjoy your school life and make sure you matter to your heart's content. After explaining the monopad, monodrone left, leaving us all in shock. Well, He's still there. So what is everyone's uh, thoughts on the situation? Seriously? Thoughts, I think this is bull. Oh. So we either live here forever or die at a young age. I mean, if I'm going to be honest with you, cats only die, uh, you know, live for, what, 15 years tops? So... <laughs> It's about rap, but it's just it's so cruel. In order to leave the school, we just have to kill. I don't don't you dare. Relax, I wasn't thinking of it. If I'm correct, we were knocked down and trapped inside a school with no escape, which is bad enough, but on top of that, we either kill each other or live here forever. This, this is just wrong. This is wrong. Don't cry, Misaki. At least we have each other, right? Being together doesn't matter. What matters is, is anyone seriously considering this? Of course not. Nobody's dying. Not on my watch. To that, nobody responded. Okay, we just stared at each other, thinking to ourselves about the situation. We have to live here forever or die trying. You must kill someone to escape. Those were the words that left us all in utter shock and planted terrible memories in our brain. Memories? Huh. See, again, I'm, th th there's, a, there's a bit of... There's a theory of mine that's uh, starting to form that, you know, either these characters... It's like a fourth wall -y thing where they're all just dang and romper fans that have gotten their memories wiped. Or, you know, it's more an in-universe thing, where they've been through something once, and then they got their memory swiped. I don't know. But, there is, yeah, it's, it's starting me to lead me that way. During all this, there was only one thing I could think of. Did someone actually contribute to this? That, that was how my school life began at Hope Speak Academy. That day I learned something new. Okay. There's no utter in the text, but, I mean, look, that's how despairful it was, I guess. Alright. Is that it? Oh, that's it. Okay. Prologue end. Shins remaining 16 to be continued. Dang Nicely done. Well, there you have it. That is Danganronpa Hope's End. Um, for one, I could say that, uh, you know, like I said, the art assets were really cool. Um, again, like I said, the clothing folds. My god. <laughs> I wish I could draw clo clothing folds that well. Um, very uh, intrigued to see what will happen next. I'll definitely be playing uh, this on the channel when the next part gets completed. Um, so far my favorite is definitely the football, uh, football boy. Waka Izumi, is that his name? Something like that. Um, although I do like the assassin as well. Uh, Miyamoto, right? Um, I forgot his first name, but <laughs> so rather. Uh, anywho. That is it for Danganronpa Hope Send. If you have a Danganronpa fan game that you are working on currently, or if you are a casual Danganronpa fan game watcher, and you think I should check out a certain fan game, please let me know down below, uh, and I'll get around to it as soon as I can. But for the time being, I'm going to end this one off here. Um, yeah, the download link is in the description if you want to go check that one out. Uh, please go and show support to the creator, Catster. And uh, yeah, I'll be, uh, I'll be off now, so <laughs> I hope to see you next time in whatever I do. Bye-bye.